Well, what's interesting, and you might explain, let's we can't stop. We got to think. The puts aside the gun enhancement and says, I am not going to sentence on that. I'm only going to sentence She's bad. on uh, the manslaughter. Can the people appeal that uh, ruling of the judge? Yeah, like so I said, this is bad. We're still waiting right up the and as you say, for this to go down. down. That if the judge tosses the gun enhancement, maybe he'll just go a little higher on the manslaughter just because of you all know. the strange circumstances. You know, when you've got a manslaughter situation, two, three, or four years, I think sort of the default setting a lot of judges have is four like, years for manslaughter. The middle term, three is about right. Now I've three. got four in on the aggravating circumstances, the mitigating circumstances. And of course, what Meserly has going for him there is the lack of a criminal record, apparent remorse, uh, the real question as to what his apparent remorse in this connection. And so all oh, that would argue for maybe going on the lighter side of that two, three, or four year span for manslaughter. But again, the wild card is what does the gun enhancement of three, four, and ten years do when you add it into that mix? The judge can have the sentences served concurrently so that you do not have to serve your three on manslaughter and then four on gun or he could uh, he well, them, uh, them it's supposed to be any second now. I'm still well, waiting like you are. My mind is, if that gun enhancement is imposed well, by the judge, well, that jumps up the uh, time that he's going to spend in prison, if he gives him prison, to 85%. This would be the 50% if he just sentences him on the manslaughter. So that's the real, not only the 10 years that's looming there, but the real oomph of that gun enhancement is it increases the amount of time he will spend in state prison. That's absolutely right, and of course uh, that's uh, something that uh, practitioners such as you are very aware of. For most people in society, it's kind of inside baseball. We have this general notion, we understand that there's overcrowding in the courts, and sometimes folks get out early. Uh, but people, of course, do need to know that, uh, yeah, uh, as you say, the gun enhancement is a much more serious deal. You've got to serve the 85% of whatever he gives you, three, four, or ten years, whereas you only have to serve half of the two, three, or four years for manslaughter. So the no. judge has got all that calculus going in his head. He probably ha has in his mind what he thinks is just the fair number, and uh, he'll, he'll so back into it. But when you're always waiting for a result, uh, you've got to have a Philly cheesesteak uh, Philly cheesesteak factory. Uh, could be out of prison uh, just to within out. a year and a half to two years, depending on what the judge comes down with. Mm. Great. Mm. Okay, thanks so much, Royal. Well, let me also ask you real quick, as long as you're there outside the courthouse, anything other than the protesters and the heavy police presence there? I don't suppose you see any Lots of police. or any streets blocked off, but it looks, from what we can tell, that things are kind of progressing normally around what's happening inside the courthouse. Yeah, absolutely nothing extraordinary on, on that front. You do see the police officers, as I mentioned, just screaming up and down the street with the sirens blaring, and it makes you think, well, what's going on? Is there some disturbance? Let's but see. They don't care in that station. It really is a distant Hollywood to wear a dress someone else has already worn. Then you get. I don't do politics for the Reagans. Wait, I get it. The judge's decision on the sentence for Johannes Mesler. Most of these local channels are not even showing it. They'd rather just show soap operas and shit like that. Probation was given. Well, you heard it here first. Listen. Fever pitch now. An emotion of feeling good about it. The doors are opening now. Probation. Uh, and you have people coming out. Uh, but 
These are just uh, security. I would expect to not go on things to get into place. So stay with me because I think we're going to get a decision. What was the session? Wanda, what, is, what, is, what was the session? Wanda Johnson saying nothing. We asked her what the sentence was. That was what Scott's grandmother saying nothing. What happened? Yeah. It was probation. Probation. Uh, yeah. Johannes Measure Lee, according to family members, you're getting probation. Sophina, was it probation that you received? Yes. All right. Uh, people very upset as they're walking out right now uh, with probation. Um, probation. The sentence out here in the courtroom outside the courthouse. Who's here for jail time? Oh, 146 days already served. Yes. So he gets 146 served. 146 days time served. So he is getting credit for time served, but here, here's the explanation. He is, and that's the fact that that's how much time he's going to get. Okay, so uh, we are still going to get some of this, uh, uh, of the, uh, Yo, hello? Yep, credit for time served and probation. Well, it's open season for our citizens once again in the United States of America. Thanks, man. Uh, let me get back. This this is sad. I got to do some some research. I gotta go. I'll call you back. Well, probation. Johannes Mesley receives time saved, time served, and probation. Credit for time served and probation.